The Eighth Life by Nino Haratashvili. This is a real mammoth of a book. If you like being in, crushed emotionally by the weight of generational trauma for over 900 pages. The Kindle version was 1,258 pages. I can't hold up the hardback, but that's 944 pages. It's a real mammoth of a book. My name is Jim. This is my channel, Books, Reading and Stuff. I thought about doing a one minute review for The Eighth Life, but that would not be doing it justice. It's a big book. It's described as the Georgian War and Peace. We have eight lives to follow, as the title suggests. The book is sub subtitled for Brilka, and hers is the final of Life of the Eight. Eight on its side is the infinity sign, the final life. The eighth life is left blank in the book because there's an infinite range of possibilities for Brilka. The story is narrated by Brilka's aunt, Nisa, the seventh life in the book. It's the longest book I've read for a very long while. The story covers the history of Georgia, particularly Soviet Georgia, throughout the 20th century from, and goes up to the beginning of the 2000s when Saakashvili comes to power through the lives of five generations in one family, focusing on seven lives and leading up to the eighth life. Mm. It's a multi-generational saga like Marquez's 100 Years of Solitude and it covers a very troubling time in Georgian history. The book begins with a chocolate maker who has a secret recipe for hot chocolate. The chocolate entrances the consumer, but brings a curse on all those who partake of it. The first life we follow is Stacia, the chocolate maker's third daughter, who falls for a lieutenant in the White Guard at the beginning of the 20th century. But like many of the romances in this book, this will not be an easy relationship, as the Russian Revolution erupts and the couple are separated, a pattern that is often repeated throughout the different generations. Some of the principal players in the Soviet era, like Stalin, Beria and Khrushchev, are not named explicitly. In the book, Stalin is known as Generalissimus, Beria is the little big man, and Khrushchev is the Ukrainian peasant. It's a long book. I found the first four lives to be more engaging than five and six, Elena and Daria. There's a lot of heartache as you can imagine, even when the Soviet period came to an end, the 1990s were a very tough time in Georgia. Nino Haratashvili has weaved a rich tapestry with various threads through the story. It took me three weeks to get through, which is very quick for me with a book at such length. The last big book I read, Martin Chuzzlewit by Charles Dickens, took me two months. My rating for this book, five out of five.